Which is a zombie for welcome or welcome back to Four F Beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Probably never. However, you are probably wondering what on earth I'm doing. Uh, there's a group of us that did the musicians inspired makeup collab a little while ago and we decided that we wanted to do Halloween in July and so I thought that I would do a zombie or well, a zombie punk from Shaun of the Dead but give it a twist so that rather than blood and scabs and things. Darling, my life is makeup. Makeup runs through my veins so clearly I bleed glitter. Well, it's obvious, isn't it? Isn't this clear to everybody? Right, this, believe it or not, is super, super simple to achieve. Um, I talk you through step by step. My mohawk apparently is a tad limp. No one ever likes that. Anyway, whilst I go and find some strong enough hairspray to sort out my mohawk, you can sit back relax and find out exactly how to achieve this particularly gruesome look all by yourself here it comes hey welcome back from the intro I'm guessing I look quite a bit different now but not having filmed the intro yet I don't know how well this tutorial is going to go um, if you're wondering why my face looks a bit pink it's because the most important step, if you're going to follow this tutorial, is get a tinkle razor or any other kind of facial ladies eyebrow type razor thing and get rid of all the peach fuzz on your face. Because I can promise you, if you don't, when it comes time to peel off things you've stuck down with a liquid latex, it's, um, you know those charcoal masks that everyone was putting on and then screaming as they were taking them off? Yeah, that. Right, um, I'll explain more about this as I'm going through the tutorial. I'm just going to tell you what you need. You are going to need. Where the hell did I put that brush? Oh, there it is. No, that's not it. That's the one. You're going to need a brush, something this sort of size, that you don't mind ruining because I can promise you it's going to be no use for doing makeup with come the end of what we're doing. You're going to need some liquid latex. I picked this up from Revolution in their sale. Um, because they always have this on sale when it's not Halloween so always worth grabbing so uh, easy to make wrinkles and torn skin peels off easily <laughs> uh, yeah okay um, this does have rubber latex in it obviously it's liquid latex um, so if you have a latex allergy be sensible choose something else like a spirit gum or I don't know maybe false lash glue something like that or I don't think glitter glue would be strong enough but eyelash glue probably would but I don't know how well that will react to your skin 
I suppose you put it on your skin on your eyelids, don't you? Anyway, you're also going to need tissue or toilet paper. I've gone for this because it's far easier to split this into because this is two ply. Because they have posh stuff in this house. They have pampered bottles. Um, it's much easier because you're going to need it super, super thin like this. Okay. Um, and initially, for the first bit of the tutorial, that's all you need. I've washed, moisturised, and I've primed my skin um, in areas that I'm not going to be applying this because I'm using a pore filling primer. And if you put this on your skin where you're going to put the latex, it doesn't always stick very well. So what I did was I applied it on and then used tissue to kind of wipe it back off just so I've got a super, super thin layer of it on my skin just to help as an added barrier between the latex and this. I use the Catrice Prime and, F Prime and Fine... Oh, good Lord. Prime and Fine Poreless Blur Primer. This is energy drink. I think I'm going to need it. It is currently 10 o'clock at night, but it's been too hot all day to do this tutorial. So, uh, I'm going to zoom you in a little bit. Now, I'm a teaching channel, so I do go quite in depth with my tutorials, um, and my film will probably be longer than most people. But what I am going to do, because this one is going to be long because of showing you the process, I'm probably going to speed it up and put music on. Um, I know I don't do that usually in my tutorials, but if I don't do it, this is going to be a two hour long film and nobody wants to sit through that. Because this is um, a collaboration, again. Um, I don't know if you saw the recent Inspired by Musicians collab that I did. Uh, well, we decided as a group we really enjoyed it and we wanted to do some more. And at the moment there's 16 of us in there so we're calling ourselves the Sweet 16. Um, so we decided that everyone does like Christmas in June and Christmas in July. And we thought we'd be different and do Halloween in July. Ho ho ho! You're probably guessing where this is going now. Right. I'm going to open this liquid latex. And this is my... What I usually squeeze things onto. Balbisho! He's my favourite. Where is he? There he is. Balbisho and Balbisho. <laughs> right. So I'm going to squeeze some of this out onto here. It's very, very liquid. Uh, so... You know, you, you do need something to pour it onto. It's going to have sides and catch it. Now, I'm going to do uh, my version of a Shaun of the Dead zombie with a twist because, to be quite honest, I can't find my fake blood, so it's going to be done with a twist. So I'm just tearing this single ply into strips about half inch, well about, just under an inch wide, so about two centimetres wide. See, I can do imperial and metric, because I'm that bloody old. Right, to start off with, what I'm going to do is like a, um, like a torn bit of flesh here. So I'm going to start off by wetting my fingers, just because it makes it easier to roll. And I'm just going to roll the the toilet paper up, or oh, you can use tissue, um, I'm just going to roll it into like a long sausage, like so. That sounds so wrong, doesn't it? And then I'm going to get some liquid latex on my brush, and I'm going to brush it onto my skin. And I'm just going to lay this on top. Roughly in the kind of area that I want to cover. Let's 
see me out a little bit. Just realised I'm cutting off screen. So I'm literally just painting the liquid latex on and then I'm laying this. What I'm going to do, I'm going to talk you through the first one and then I'll either speed up or just cut out the doing the second one because obviously they're all going to be done the same way. So again, make your fingers, roll the toilet paper up, if you're too rough with it you end up putting a bit off like I just did, clever. Right, I'm not going to need as much this time, so I'm going to get that much. So I'll tear a bit off because I can use the rest of it for the, the next one that I'm going to do. So I'll just paint that on. Because this will give you the ridge to start from. Because what I'm going to do, instead of filling it with blood and whatnot, I'm going to fill it with pretty stuff. I might do glitter. I might not. I've got to go and test drive a car tomorrow, so maybe not glitter. And then I'm just going to go, just going to wet the brush with the latex and just paint over the tissue paper to try and make sure it's really well coated and that it's well stuck. Obviously be sensible with this, don't put it too close to your eye or your mouth or your nose. Right. And I'm just going to fill the inside with liquid latex. The reason I do this is because if you do decide you're going to put blood on there, a lot of blood that you use will stain your skin. So if you just put a coat of liquid latex on the inside, it will just help protect your skin from whatever colour you then put on top. And then what you do, you get your strips and you... It was a bit too close to my eye, so you turn that bit off. And you just sort of press it on, on top of the ridge that you've done. And you can be as rough with this as you want, because it's, what this is doing, this is creating the torn skin. And then you just, again, over with this is why I was saying you need to use a brush that you don't mind ruining because there's no rescuing a brush after this I promise you I've done this so many times So obviously you can, you do sometimes get some of it coming off and sticking to the brush, but you know, all well, adds to the effect, just stick it back down somewhere else. Warning, liquid latex smells like fish glue. It's horrible stuff. This is why a lot of people prefer to use spirit gum. But to me, that smells even worse. So, again, just roughly place the tissue on top. And just build up the, basically, the torn skin element. You can see it's absolutely mangling this brush. But it doesn't matter because it's doing what we want. It's giving us the effect that we need. So obviously, you know, don't use a spectrum brush, use something cheap that you've bought. 
you can do this with your fingers, um, but you know, nails. I just find it easier to manipulate the paper um, when it's when I've got a brush that I can push it around with, you know, and just keep adding more layers until you're happy with the amount and the effect that you're getting. This will start to stiffen on your face and feel like a face mask. So I'm going to keep doing this. Uh, I'll probably show you a little bit more of this one. And then I'll... I think I'll do the other one off camera, otherwise we're, I mean, we're going to be here all night otherwise. And like I said, I don't, because you've got... Because there's, like I said, there's 16 of us in the group, but I don't think all of us are taking part. I know there's a couple of people that are going to be out of the country or have got other calls on their time but you know effectively you could have up to 16 films to watch but at least it does give you a really good head start on deciding what you want your Halloween costume to be this year and to be honest the scrappier the skin the the skin or the paper looks around the edges, the better. Because it gives you the wrinkled, ruffled, good lord what's happened to that person's face effect that we're looking for. I don't know if you've ever seen Shaun the Dead. It is hysterically funny. Uh, it just If you've seen the meme where you've got Simon Pegg sitting in a very British pub going let's just go, let's just head to the Winchester till it all blows over. That is from Shaun of the Dead. It is a super funny film, it's not a scary horror film at all. Um, the, the Queen moment in the pub with, with the Paul Cues is hysterical. But I'm not going to spoil it for you. Right, so, if you can see, got that all built up. If I do, if I do that, you can take some of the brightness off. You can see the rippled effect that it gives. And obviously I'm going to need that to dry before I can put any kind of poor mangled brush before I can put any kind of makeup on top so um, I'm gonna have a wet wipe and see if I can rescue this enough to continue to do another one I will pause you and I will come back when everything is dry and ready for the next stage and I will continue my zombification process. That was so non-ASMR. I'm so sorry headphone users. <laughs> right, I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back. Right, I've zoomed you back out so you can see what I've done. I've done another sort of like torn open wound here. What I've done here, rather than do a torn wound, I started off the same way rolling a, like a sausage piece and just stuck it on in a wavy line and then stuck um, tissue paper over it to create like a raised scar. Okay, this is my really so old the plastic has gone sticky on the handle so I have to wrap a wet wipe around it before I can hold it otherwise I'm like Ugh. so I'm going to use a foundation which doesn't really work for my skin so it costs me a lot of money I'm going to use it and using it for this is perfect because it doesn't matter if it goes cakey on me Jouer. 
this is the essential high coverage I have got a um, I'm sure I've got a foundation review with this on my channel um, you don't get the full 30 mils or one ounce you get 20 mils or 0.68 fluid ounces this is in shade pearl because they reckon it's so high coverage you don't need to use as much it is high coverage but it goes cakey as sin on my skin oh. right you also have to shake it well oh and I don't know if anybody else's does this but my gold bit comes off and my middle bit stays in one of my most expensive foundations packaging flaw genuinely have no idea if this pump will still work it's been so long oh give it its due I'm going to pump a healthy amount out now you can use your fingers if you don't want to risk buggering up a brush but as I said this is my doesn't really matter what happens to it foundation brush do you remember the days when we used to apply our foundation with these and think they were wonderful then we got the round brushes with the dimple in them and then it was kabukis and then it was beauty blenders and then it's just like sponges and everything right so what I'm going to do is basically plonk this straight on top done it thicker over the um, scar area because I want to cover the whiteness of the tissue paper so I'm literally just slapping it on like it's spackle as you can see from the amount of it still on the brush when I do this the fact this foundation is a wee bit too light for me actually works quite well as well because the zombies of course are the undead so because of that they don't tend to have an awful lot of uh, healthy circulation so a foundation lighter than the one that you normally wear or foundation mixer drops to lighten one of your foundations or if you live in the UK where you don't get to take your foundation back if you pick the wrong shade one of those myriad of bottles of foundation that you've got that you thought well I can't blooming wear that well use it for this so as you can see I've whacked on enough to cover not just my sins but the sins of everybody watching I mean it really is, I'll give it its due, it's very very high coverage which, for looking like a zombie is absolutely perfect that's just what we want but for every day wear, on me at least on my skin, no just no if you go and watch the foundation review you can see how heinous it looked I keep meaning to try mixing it because I've got a couple of foundations that are too dark for me so I thought maybe tiniest, tiniest bit of this added to maybe a full pump of the ones that are too dark for me might actually make this a usable foundation and not a waste of quite honest, a sinful amount of money. I'm going over my eyebrows as well because I want that kind of just crawled out of the grave look now. you know, how I look at three in the morning when I get woken with pain. I'm starting to resemble Crichton from Red Dwarf at this point. But 
yeah, you just basically bung this on everywhere. And like I said, the thicker, the better. Because we kind of, we want it to sort of break up around this and look cakey and make it look like it genuinely is broken skin. And obviously the sort of tissue paper stuff that we used will actually soak up quite a bit of it, which is why I'm going over it two or three times just to make sure. If you're going to do this it's always a good idea to chuck a little bit on your ears as well. Not too much, because obviously hair or wig can hide a lot, but Mm hmm this is um <sighs> if this is your first time to my channel I'd like to assure you that I do know how to match my foundation and I know how to apply it without looking like a wax figurine in Madame Two Swords I think that's quite an appropriate analogy right now. Right, I'm just going to... I pumped that off onto the side. I'd cleared the latex off and I just pumped it off onto the same thing. Is a, if you haven't got a expensive, you know, foundation mixing pot thing, you can use anything. I know people that use the lid off of um, candles, but this was in an Easter egg and I wanted it for the Bulbasaur, gave her husband the chocolate and I just had that. So, Shiwei, you have actually served a good useful purpose this evening. Thank you so much. Oh, this is going to be a mare to get off. <laughs> right. Good old Coty Airspun Translucent Extra Coverage. To love. Okay, and drop the Coty and get it everywhere. Marvellous Ange, well done. And I am going to basically powder myself like I'm an 18th century wig to set this ridiculous amount of very full coverage foundation that I put on. My top looks like I've been in an explosion at a Dolcom boulder factory. I will zoom out in just a minute and give you a sneak peek of just how awful this. I love Coty Airspun but it is so finely milled that um See all this? Even more down here, look. Oh dear. Oh well, it all adds to the zombie nature, I suppose. Oh crikey, I've got it everywhere here. Eh? Let me just pause you a minute while I clean up this powder situation and I'll be right back. Yo! Right, I'm going in with the Revolution Reloaded Deep Dive Palette. And initially, I'm going to use these greys here, possibly this shiny one here, haven't decided yet. So I'm going to go into the deepest grey with a, a brow brush. And I'm just going to sketch along the top of this scar. Add in what will look like stitches. The beauty of this is 
you mess something up, it's great because you're meant to be looking estate anyway. So yeah, you know, like I said, there could be up to 16 of us, there could be fewer. But what Nikki Raven, my YouTube wifey, has done, she set up the playlist for the um, musician-inspired makeup. She's actually renamed the playlist, I think, to Sweet 16. So any collabs that we do, whether there's one of us, two of us, ten of us, fifteen, sixteen of us, they're all going to be in um, that particular folder so you'll be over that playlist playlist you can just go to that click play and you're going to get all of them rather than having to go into the info box and go to everybody's channel right I'm going to go into the lighter grey with the fluffier end and I'm just going to darken up the inner edges of the open wound make it look like the skin is lifted and I'm going to very very lightly dust across all of the creases in the powder in the toilet roll tissue paper to make it look more like torn skin. Now of course if you wanted to you could actually fill this in with fake blood and then drip some running blood down from it but as I said because mine is more of a family friendly channel and I don't want to scare off younger children who may be watching I'm doing a zombie with a twist so there will be no dripping blood, there will be no anything that could upset you, basically. Because no matter how weird I look at the end, you know it's just tissue paper and latex. Alright? And then I'm going to do the same just along the edges of this scar that he's been pulled together rather crudely But um, yeah, we all really enjoyed doing the musician inspired one and just, we didn't want to have our little group break up, so I'm not quite sure who it was that suggested doing Halloween in July, but we all jumped at it because Halloween is by far my favourite of the holidays. Not that it's a holiday in the UK, but you know what I mean. I really want to scratch my nose. Oh, oh, no. oh yes. You ever do that? Hit yourself in the face to get over an itch when you put your foundation on. Or is that just me? Just me. There it is. Now, of course, I'm known for wafty coloured brows, so it would be rude of me not to do wafty coloured brows, even as a zombie, wouldn't it, really? So I'm going to go into this purpley blue here with the liner end of the brush. And just pop this lightly through my brows. Oh, that really itches. Please tell me I haven't developed an allergy or something to liquid latex since the last time I used it. 
Well, to be fair, this is the first time I've used the Revolution one, so... It's either that or it's the foundation annoying me. It's probably the foundation, actually. I just rather whack it on. Hmm. A zombie with perfectly manicured brows. Because, well, you know, zombies have standards too, you know. It's not all brain eating and wandering around in dishevelled clothes, groaning at people. There are things that have to be done, there are places to be seen, darling. Um, and I'm also going to. This is ridiculous. I'm also going to go into this green here to try and indicate maybe a bit of mould or you know, decay, moss perhaps. I mean you can really let your imagination go wild when you're doing this. It's not real. As I said when I did the OTs one, you can't really go OTT with it. Um, same could pretty much be said of this too. I mean, look, that's really cancelled out my dark circles when I actually needed them here today. So I'm going to add them back in because I have that power. So I'm going to go into this end and I'm going to start off in the medium grey and I'm going to go under my lash line, up round the tear duct and sweep it down. This, I, I really love doing things like this, it's just, it's just so much fun to let loose and just do crazy things with makeup, you know? I suppose I should say crazier. But it, it's just, you know, I, I absolutely love that group that I'm in. You know, there's not a single nasty person in it as far as I'm aware. And it's just it's a really friendly group, you know, we all chat to each other about what's going on in our daily life and I mean we chat pretty much every day, which is really nice. Just gonna deepen up the Dark circle this side. Oh, never looked so attractive in my life. Look at this. Hmm. So I'm going to get that green again that I used in the brow. And I'm just going to sweep that over the lid. Just to add a tad of a tad bit of decay here too, you know. Kind of gone a bit mouldy. Like cheese if you leave it in the fridge too long. Unless of course it's gorgonzola or blue still and dolce latte, which is Meant to be mouldy. But, as we all know, that's a very different type of mould. If you're new to my channel, I do wander off on all kinds of different things that I talk about. My brain wanders and 
goes for a walk and, you know, I tend to follow it and see where it's going. Sometimes says something very profound, but the majority of the time, just, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go into the grey again and just go around the edges of the mouth here. And then lightly blur that across the top of the lips. And of course, underneath. And then I'm going to go into the silver hell. I'm just going to apply this to the lips. To make them look dried out and scaly and horrible. Hmm. Now that I was talking about. Mm. Nope, not that one. This one. I'm going to go into my Pinky Rose palette, my Bright Lights palette. And I'm going to go into the glitters. Oh yes, I'm going there. I'm going to go into Cupcake. And just fill in. So I wasn't going to do glitter, didn't I? Just driving a car tomorrow. I'm going to have glitter everywhere. Hmm. And I'm going to go into Dazzle. And add a little bit of that on top. This is a Morphe M321, if you're wondering, by the way. And then I'm going to go into Tickle. Not something zombies do. If you don't have glitters, you can use shimmer shades, you can use, um, you know, loose neon pigments. You can do anything you like, but I decided that I wanted some glitter. Hmm. <laughs> No, oh, this is so much fun. Right. I'm going to pop a little bit of mascara on. 
and uh, I'll do something with my hair and I'll be back with my final look for my zombie with a twist so I'll see you well you'll see me straight away I'll see you next time I press the record button hello as you can see I decided that my zombie was going to be a punk zombie and of course you know what would a woman obsessed with makeup bleed as a zombie glitter darling glitter right um, I really hope you appreciate the hour and a half this has taken um, to achieve this particularly gruesome look uh, please, please send me good wishes for getting this off my face without screaming so loudly the neighbours think there is a zombie attack happening in my kitchen and uh, while I'm while I'm peeling this off and screaming actually no technically I would have peeled this off and screamed quite a while ago because this clearly I didn't film this now I had to edit it together um, <laughs> I look ridiculous I cannot take myself seriously like this I'm so sorry I I I I look like a cockerel that's had an accident in a paint factory. <sighs> right. This is my entry for Halloween in July. But, you know, there are plenty more for you to watch. Um, like I said, I will link the playlist below. I will try and link as many of their channels below if the description box lets me last time I had trouble linking everybody because it kept saying too many characters, too many characters I didn't want to leave anybody off um, but the playlist will definitely be there and you can peruse all the other films to your heart's content I currently feel like I have a mud mask on uh, my skin feels as tight as it did when I was 22 which is quite nice but I, I can assure you I look much better than this at 22. Uh, I'll find a picture if I can and insert it so you can see how I looked at 22. <sighs> right. I, just, I cannot take myself seriously. Um, if you're new to my channel, I, I don't always do crazy looks like this. I do do normal ones as well, please. Once you've checked out all the other ones in our Halloween in July collab, you know, do feel free to come back and check out some of mine where I don't look like a rotting, zombified, paint-strewn cockerel. And if you are one of my 4F babies, please make sure you go and watch all the other films and give all the other creators as much love and support that you offer me in my comments box all the time. Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts on this and if you decide that you're going to try this out clearly I'm guessing you're going to be doing it more towards October uh, but if you do decide to do this please if you have Insta or Twitter Put your looks up on there and tag me because I would love, 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 love to see your versions of this. Right. That's that's quite enough from this glitter bleeding zombie punk from Shaun of the Dead. Ish. And all that remains for me to say is you'll stay fabulous and I'll see you next time bye for now oh, I gotta get this off I suppose I could go and test drive the car at this time 
sounded like other drivers get out of my way, wouldn't it? Right, I'm really going this time. <laughs>